Hello guys, welcome to Steve Red's House Outdoor Edition. Today we're trying to do a little bit of fishing. We're at Joe Pool Lake at one of the mar little marinas out here. I thought we'd try to catch something while we was in route between two other places. Been down here for about an hour, haven't caught anything, haven't seen anybody catch anything. Um, I think part of the reason is the location we're at. Um, they have a place probably about 50 yards from here people were feeding the ducks and the fish and there's a lot of catfish over there but can't fish from there but we're going to try a little bit longer and see if we can get anything here. This guy's closer to shore as I can get it since it bounced off of it. Yeah, I've been trying a bunch of different lures, worms, jigs, a couple of spinners. Wouldn't catch anything. I know there's catfish out here. Put some catfish bait on. Let me show you this real quick. This is some cheap stuff I see. I see it for sale all over the place. Have any of you guys ever actually caught anything off of this? I have yet to catch a damn thing off of this. Um, I don't know. I tried something like this in Arkansas. Didn't catch anything. Tried it here. Had two lines in the water with it. Didn't catch anything. The only people I saw that caught anything were using live minnows and they were catching a little bitty ones. I mean, about like this. Um, some small crappie, small bass. I think one guy had like a 10 inch bass. That's the biggest thing I've seen. But everything else has just been too small to keep anyways. I don't have any live minnows. I thought I'd try to catch, you know, you would think with all these, all the piers out here, there'd be some kind of bass swimming around here. But I think most of the fish are over there where they're feeding them. Where they're over there feeding the ducks. There's a lot of carp, a lot of catfish swimming around. I haven't seen anything out here. Uh, even the poor crane over there hasn't found anything. He's been walking up and down the shoreline for a while. I'll try it a few more times trying to get right off the end of this pier. Ducks are moving over here. Maybe they know something. Oh, yeah, I'll catch a duck. That would be bad. Hey, for a good video, that would be bad. I'm rolling this way too fast. I think we're about to hang this up. I'm going to try a little something. See if the catfish actually like this bait I've got over there where they're feeding all the fish. There's quite a few cats swimming around underneath the ducks. As a matter of fact, it's kind of funny, the ducks kept kicking them in the head every time they tried to come up to get some of the bread and popcorn people were throwing out there. So I'm going to take this catfish bait over there and drop it over there and see if the catfish will even eat it then. And if they won't even eat it, then we know this is it's crap. There's no reason to buy it. So fix and put everything up. We're going to do that. And Elena has decided she wants to start fishing. So we're also going to head somewhere and see if we can't find her rod and reel. So she can come out here with me. So right now we're gonna pack up, we're gonna head over there, and then I'll show you me trying to feed that to the catfish. I'm curious if they'll even buy it. If they don't eat it over there, I wouldn't advise them buying it. Alright, so this is the area where everybody comes out here and feeds ducks. Nobody's really feeding them right now, but when we was over here earlier, saw a lot of catfish swimming underneath these guys. And start chunking stuff in the water they're probably all going to get up here pretty close there's somebody feeding them over there but if i can get them over here i'll see if i can get the catfish up see if they'll actually eat this bait i got yeah there's a fish right there see him there's a nice big carp it's not the catfish but there's a pretty good sized carp underneath that duck all right so i'm testing this bait out I dropped it a while ago and i just saw a catfish come up and grab it so I guess if they're close enough to it, they might actually eat it. I see some fish swimming around it. But even breaking this up in little pieces, they're not extremely interested. So... I know they're here, when I was throwing the other food out there, these things are coming up all over the place. Let me see if I can get some more of it. Alright, so I'm going to use the actual fish food that they have. Now the ducks are coming over. I'm going to see if I can get the fish to come back over. Yep, 
Yep, now I see some fish swimming underneath them. So let's just get this wet and go fishing with this. Okay, now that the fish are swimming underneath them. You hit a duck in the head. Now this is pretty sad. These fish are eating this little bit of fish food they have out here. Oh, the duck likes it. Okay. But I throw the fish food out here that they have over here and people throwing popcorn and bread. These fish, catfish and everything are all over the place. I start dropping this in the water. Everybody leaves. And they all take off. <laughs> Nothing coming up here to eat it at all. So basically what that tells me is that catfish bait ain't worth the crap. I can draw fish up here with this fish food they have in this little vending machine little thing here and the catfish and the carp come up all over the place. I throw catfish bait in there, the fish swim away from it. Um, I would think that's a pretty safe bet that that's not a good investment buying that. Uh, I think next time I might actually get some of this fish food and see if I can't put it on a hook. Okay, see? Catfish coming up, eating this food they have up here. Put catfish bait in the water, they all run away from it. Did you get it? You can still see them swimming around. <laughs> okay, so for the second time on the video, I tried to fish. Not catching anything for you guys. I didn't see anybody else catching anything either. Man, man this dock is really loud. Um, but I thought it was really funny that the stuff you go buy to catch catfish, catfish won't even eat it. Matter of fact, they ran from it. So the fish food they have up there, I absolutely love it. So I wonder if I could get some of that stuff and make my own little bigger chunks of it and throw it out there for catfish. That might actually work. But definitely don't like the catfish bait. So the fact that I'm putting this on video again kind of makes me wonder, what do you guys want to see? Do you actually want to see um, more fishing videos if I can actually catch anything? That would probably be good. It makes for a better video if I actually reel something in, right? But do you actually want to see more fishing videos i know there's a lot of fishing channels out there a lot of outdoor channels a lot of blogs out there too but you know i really enjoy fishing i enjoy being in the outdoors i don't have a ton of time for it but it'd be something good to do um even getting elena out there with me something me and her can do she's right now wanting to go get a fishing pole for her birthday so we might get her some some tackle and rod and reel and Still got to get her fishing license. That'd be a pretty big deal. You definitely don't want to get caught without that. But what do you guys think? Do you want to see another fishing show? Do you want me to turn this into more of an outdoors channel? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I don't know what you guys want to watch if you don't tell me. So let's see what happens. Um, see if we can find some decent places to go. I know there's a lot of places around here I can go. But let me know what you think. You want to see more outdoor stuff? Leave it in the comments. I think my jacket's a little too big for her. It almost looks like a dress. So we came to Walmart so she could find her a rod and reel. And they do have quite a few. I mean, none of these are anything that any serious, let's say, professional angler would buy. But for somebody who's really not used to fishing, who's pretty much just starting out, why not? It's not a big investment. Then if you lose interest, well, you didn't lose a whole hell of a lot. But she did pick one out. Let's see what she got. Turn it around. Show us what you got. There we go. Nice little pink rod and reel combo. So the next time we go fishing, we will take that out there and see if she can catch anything on it. Right now, she's looking at lures. And of course, her being a girl, she's like, I want one that matches my rod and reel. Now, I know there's a lot of lures out there that are mainly designed to catch the eye of fishermen versus the fish. And I know there's a lot of these that a lot of thought process and science goes into on on design and colors and all that but i have never heard somebody tell me i'm looking for some that'll match my rod and rail <laughs> that's okay it's all about having fun so if we get a rod and reel get her some lures get some other stuff for her i do have some stuff for her already back at the house but if she finds some stuff for it, it makes her happy she wants to go out there and go fishing with me we get to spend more time together that's even better so it's all about having fun it's not all just necessarily about catching stuff although that makes it a lot better but we'll let her do her fishing shopping here basically what I'm doing is I'm getting her birthday presents that's what she decided she wanted for her birthday her birthday is coming up so why not we'll do that and 
Maybe next time I go fishing, she'll be out there fishing with me. Still got to get her fishing license, though. Definitely don't want to get caught without that. All right, guys, so it is the next day. I completely forgot to do an outro to this video, but that was pretty much the end of it. We tried to go fishing a little bit. Didn't catch anything. Um, the only thing I saw caught was some little bitty fish, and then you saw when I tried out the catfish bait, they swam away from it. Um, I saw a couple of them kind of swimming around, but I never seen them actually go after the bait I was dropping in. But when I put the fish bait in, they were all over it. But anyways, maybe that catfish bait works great somewhere else. Maybe it works great for different areas, different fish, maybe a different time of year. I don't know. I know I used that same brand in Arkansas, had no bites on it at all. I used it here, had no bites on it at all. And even saw the fish swim away from it that I could see there. Um... Like I said, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, or maybe that's not something you want to buy, but I will not buy that kind of catfish bait again. So any future fishing videos you see, you will not see me using that. Um, use two different flavors of it. Um, I guess flavors, maybe it smells, I don't know. Maybe it tastes different. I'm not going to try it out. But use two different ones. Um, used one kind, I don't remember which one it was, but... It was one of the red ones. Might have been chicken blood or something like that. I used in Arkansas. I didn't get anything on there. Now, I can't really blame that one on the bait because when I went back and looked at the map where we are, where we were, if I can talk, I'll actually get that out and tell you. Um, really wasn't the best place to be fishing there. And I didn't see any, any other boats at all there fishing. So maybe they knew what I figured out. Not a good place to fish. So we're kind of debating. Do we want to go back there next year and maybe get a little bit of redemption on it? Um... Maybe by then I might actually have a boat I can go out there and fish the areas I really wanted to fish. Um, I don't know. I need to get my bike paid off before I get a boat. Or are we going to go to Port Aransas like we had planned on doing in the beginning? Um, do some saltwater fishing. After all, I mean, I've, I've even made some rod holders and stuff to take to Port Aransas. Um, the rod and reel combo that I bought at Bass Pro, I took back. I never used it. So we took it back because I wasn't going to be able to go down there. So... If we do actually set the plans up to go back to Port Aransas, right now the hotel we're wanting to stay at is still under construction. So, obviously they're not taking reservations. Hopefully their price point will be pretty much the same. But when I looked on their Facebook page, they said they had to gut the whole bottom story of the hotel and they are still under construction. Here it is a few months later. I mean, we're in November now. Um, Hurricane Harvey hit what? I don't remember now. It was the end of August or beginning of October when they got hit. But um, anyways, they're, they're still under construction. There's a lot of the other ones around the area that are still under construction. Some of the hotels that were hit pretty bad, when I was looking at their previous reviews, they had horrible reviews saying the hotel was dirty and stinky and smelly and all that. Well, maybe since they're having to rebuild them, they'll actually be, be pretty nice now. Um, the one that we was going to stay at for the price that, we, um, that they were advertising on it, the price we had it set up for, um, was really, really good. For the reviews that they had I mean they had just all great reviews so if we go there this year and we end up staying at that hotel and it's as good as all the reviews were saying they were then I'll absolutely put it on here and I'll kind of show your thing around like we did the other one the hotel we was at in Arkansas I actually kind of liked it I mean the bottom story was kind of musty smelling like somebody spilt the cleaner out of the carpet cleaner and wasn't able to get it all up and it got kind of musty around the lobby area but you got up in the rooms it was fine it didn't smell like that the only issue I had with that hotel the whole time was, well, the rooms were kind of small, but for the price we were paying, that that, that was perfect. Um, was the fact that just the just the debacle on checking out. I mean, they hit two different cards several times, uh, which was just ridiculous. I, I don't know what they were doing. They did send me an email and say that they were using my comments and my scenario as a as a training video, basically for them on on what they did wrong. So hopefully that'll actually turn out to be something. But in the meantime, you guys watch the videos that I have. If you liked this one, comment below, like it. That's the big thumbs up, like it. Subscribe to it, leave me a comment. If you like the fishing videos, I know you, you would really like to see me catching fish that would be better than just sitting out there and not catching anything. If you like the outdoors type videos, being out in different places, let me know that. Leave it in the comments below. Um, if you like more of the stuff I was doing before, take a look at the other videos and, and check them out and see if you like stuff like that more. If you do, let me know. Let me know what you guys want to watch. Until then, guys, thank you for watching. 
be happy. We'll see you later. Have a good night.